Bouncy, Bouncy, Bouncy. Hello everyone, and welcome to a walkthrough of a game to finish off a series of SNES games that I've probably taken too long to finish off. <laughs> It is Donkey Kong Country 3, subtitled Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. Let's get this game started here. But before we do, on the save file screen, believe it or not, getting the absolute highest percentage that you can possibly get starts right here with a code. Yeah, a secret code. So hit LRR, 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 LRR. And now from here, enter the code TOUGHEST. It's spelled like that. <laughs> now listen for the Q. Hear that? Dixie Kong was crying in terror. Because what we did there was we set the game up for the hardest possible challenge on the save file here. What this does is it takes out all midpoints and Donkey Kong barrels along the way. So it's very, very vital that you do not take hits as you go, if you can help it. Anyway, let's get ye old game started. I would like to introduce myself, but you probably know me already if you're subscribed or something like that. Or yeah, or you see my channel name, yeah, but speak again. <laughs> And I'm gonna commentate this whole thing. So here we start the game with Dixie Kong jumping in the water. This is all automatic. I'm not controlling this whatsoever. And we start off at Wrinkly's Save Cave. This is Wrinkly, this athletic old girl. Hello there, it's me, Miss Wrinkly Kong. I found life too hectic at school with all those naughty Kremlings pestering me all the time. If you need to save your game, Dixie, call here anytime. All right, and I'll record your progress on my new Ridney What's It machine for you. So yeah, anytime you see Wrinkly Save Cave, you can save your game. What's that? You want to see the Lost World? Which channel is that on, Dixie? <laughs> and she's gone. Anyway, now I'm going to go up to this house to show you something. This is the start of a trading sequence that I'm gonna do much much later on in the game but I would like to show you that this is here right now Bazaar's general store this bear is Bazaar hello there young Dixie my name's Bazaar and this is my general store all of my brothers are scattered over these islands pop in and say hello if you meet them on your travels so then how may I be of assistance to you so you see there's a shell and a mirror on the shelf let's check the shell on uh, the shell here the shell shelf <laughs> The shell was found at the bottom of the lake right? Tenga. It's pretty rare. If I have bear coins, it's a bargain. See at the top of the screen there, I have zero. Yeah, I can't buy anything here, but I'll say yes just for kicks. Keep saving, Dixie. I'm sure you'll get enough together. Okay, let's check the mirror. Yes, but it's no ordinary one, though. It was Cranky's great-grandfather's. Can't let it go for less than 50 coins! Yeah, it's gonna take us a while to even get the stuff for this stuff anyway, so you've gotta be joking! I'm interested? Help you sure, because I don't think it's going to stay here very long. Oh, it will, I assure you. No one can afford that dang mirror except for me. <laughs> Thanks for your business, Dixie. It really was a pleasure serving you. Alright, now we're going to get the game started for real seas here by going to Funky's Rentals. Oh yeah. Yo, Dixie, what's happening? I've set up my smoking new boat shop on this island, but that's not all. I've also brought your excellent cousin, Kitty Kong, along for the ride. Woo! I got a partner! He may be a toddler, but if you let him throw you upwards, you'll almost reach the stars! Oh yeah! And if you throw him, his humongous body can smash through the floor in some areas, trust me. So, we can either leave the cabin or choose the motorboat. I think you want to choose the motorboat, otherwise you aren't getting any further than this. <laughs> Must have moved, got a groove. So here we are on the motorboat, we can move with the d-pad and hold the Y button to move a little bit faster. Now I'm going to show you a little secret up here because we have access to it. Press the B button right there and you'll go to Bounty Beach and play a Simon Says like game. Look at the buttons on the crystals. See that? Y, B, Y, A, Y, B, Y, and then hit A and then look at the top of the screen. See that crystal? I broke a banana bird out of the crystal! There are 15 of these in the game, and of course you've got to get all of them to 100% this game, so... Yeah, might as well start off with a bang. Alright, first world of the game, Lake Orangatanga! <laughs> Ready? 
Lakeside Limbo starts. So, here we are. Games controls. V button is jump, hold the Y button to run. You can press the A button to carry whatever partner you have on the other end and then be able to throw it with the same Y button. You can also press the select button to switch characters like that. Characters have different attributes, so I'll, I'll go over them as I need to. So, and you can also pause it by pressing the start button. Good? Good. Alright. And also D-pad moves, obviously, but you already knew that. That enemy right there, that really evil, mean-looking mouse is a sneak, but it's actually not threatening at all. <laughs> you can also hold the Y button to pick up stuff, as I demonstrated there with that barrel. So, yeah. And look at this, look at this little hint with the A button over here. See that? See that? See that? Hit the A button to pick up Kitty Kong. If you don't have Kitty Kong, press the select button to switch. Uh, if you took a hit, you were pretty much screwed be to be able to do this. This is why uh, toughest code makes you have a lot of issues. <laughs> anyway, let's collect 50 stars here. And if we collect all 50 stars, we'll be able to get a bonus coin. And of course, we've got to get all the bonus coins to complete the game. By the way, if you hold the Y button, you can do a little helicopter twirl there, which I used to collect a bunch of stars in midair. But you can only do that with Dixie! Yep special attributes for each character. Oh, by the way, this enemy here that I just randomly, well, not randomly killed, but quickly killed. Did I despawn it? <laughs> it's a cobble. Yeah, it's, it's not a hard enemy. It's just taller than the sneak. So we got a got an enemy known as Coin here, and uh, I, I would really want, I'd like that Donkey Kong coin to be able to 100% this game too, because you gotta collect all these Donkey Kong coins, but he's using it as a shield. But, well, how the heck do I get this? Well, every time you see coin, you have a little puzzle on your hands. In this case, you can solve this puzzle by holding up and throwing the barrel to that side, bouncing it off the wall, jumping over him, and he'll turn to expose his back to the barrel, because you can't protect both sides at once. So yeah, there's a coin like that in every single level, and everyone has a little puzzle. They get harder and harder as you go, of course. Um, wait, isn't there something up here? If you throw Dixie up here, yeah, there's a bear coin along with a one-up balloon. Uh, the, the color of the balloon indicates how many one-ups you'll get. That was just a one-up. One-ups are red, uh, two-ups are green, and blue are three-ups. Got it? Good. Um, over here, you might want to do a little practice on Kitty Kong's move. He's got a unique move here that's not really described or demonstrated well in the game. But, so, I'm gonna teach it to you here. Uh, all you have to do is roll off the edge, and when you hit the water, hit the jump button. Okay? Ready? Steady? Go! Go! Yeah, and every time you do that, you can jump higher and higher, but I think it's limited to, like, two or three jumps or something like that. I, I forgot offhand, but yeah. Practice that, because you will need it for stuff later on. And you also notice that I've been collecting letters, those K-O-N, well, you're probably expecting a G to come up. Well, if you get all four of those letters, you'll get a 1-up for that as well. It's not necessary for 100%ing the game, but, you know, it's kind of nice to have lives when you have the toughest code activated. <laughs> anyway, uh... For this bonus game, you gotta collect green bananas, and they appear randomly out of thin air. If you get to the center of this rope, you shouldn't have much issue getting to a banana before it disappears. Um, whenever you want to jump down from a rope, hold down and then press the jump button. Very simple and intuitive, you know, jump down. <laughs> and one more, and there's your bonus coin. Voila! Delightful. Alright, and that's where we just were, so we didn't really... Didn't really miss anything here by uh, going down there. And over here, we got our first animal buddy! It's Ellie! You can ride it like so, and it's also got special moves of its own. So let's demonstrate them via the Y button here. Look at that, look at that. You can pick up barrels by sucking them into you, or just walking into them while holding Y. And you can also throw them up at the Booty Bird, which contains the G. Yeah, bir Booty Birds contain all sorts of different special prizes and you probably want to get uh, or destroy them anytime you see them just because. <laughs> just to see what you can get out of them. Now whenever you see one of these no animal signs here, in this case it's no elephants, when you bring the animal to it it'll disappear but you'll get a prize for taking it all the way to the sign so it's worth doing so. Uh, any secrets? Oh yeah! Always be on the lookout for yeah. Always be on the lookout for secrets. Yeah, let me up there. 
I just want to see if there's something up there. I'm suspicious. Very suspicious. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now, uh, whenever you pull this rope at the end of the level, it'll be the color of whoever pulled the rope. It's not, it doesn't matter who pulls the rope, really. It's just like a little time stamp in history. In this case, it'll be blue because I'm going to pull it with Kitty Kong. See that? It'll be pink if it's Dixie Kong. Now, if you... Now, to know if you 100% in the level, look on the map right here. See those flags next to the level? There's a gold flag. That one indicates that you've got the Donkey Kong coin in the level. The flag that's behind it, if it's fluttering like really well, like, like a good gust of wind is behind it, that means you've got all the bonus coins in the level. So when you see both those flags just like that, you know you have the level 100%. Of course that blue flag could be pink too, but it doesn't matter which color it is. Anyway, next level, door stop dash. Are you ready? I hope you're ready because the game's gonna get more frantic here. See that switch? It opens that door, and you gotta run over to the door before it closes. Because you're like, oh no, I can't get through the door. I gotta go back to the switch, and yeah, that's, that's basically the gimmick of the level, I guess. And uh, hence the name Door Stop Dash. You open the door, and you've gotta get to the door in time before it closes. And see that? Look at that bear coin over there. It's, it, it seems out of reach. Well, you could use Dixie Kong's helicopter spin, but what if you don't have Dixie Kong? Like, just just saying, what if you don't have her? How would you get that? Well, you can get that by rolling off the edge and then doing a jump. Yeah, you can do that with either Dixie or Kitty Kong. It's a, like an air jump sort of thing when you... It gives you more distance and stuff like that. It's pretty handy. Oh, by the way, if you don't make it to the door in time, sometimes there are these trap doors that let you return back down a little bit faster than having to backtrack, which is pretty nice. And let's move on here. Those are buzz enemies. Yeah, they're like buzzsaw bees. They're the zinger replacement of this game, I guess you could say. And we're gonna need Dixie Kong to get over here because you see we need to get to that barrel, but once, once we get up there, we're not gonna be able to, you know, fly without Dixie, you know. Hey, grab onto that. There we go. <laughs> and then get over here, grab the one up, and look at that, there's a bonus barrel. Now we can use said bonus barrel to get said bonus coin, hopefully. Actually, um, this, this one. You want to start over on the left side, if I remember correctly, because the bonus coin appears on the, left, uh, on the right side. So you want to collect those stars last, just to save as much time as you possibly can. And oop, oop, up there you go. <laughs> Voila! That level is now 100%ed, and it started raining profusely outside. That's odd. <laughs> I didn't think there was going to be rain today, but whatever. Hopefully you can't hear the rain in the fireplace. Anyway, made it to that door. We will make it through this level, hopefully without taking a hit, because I still will need a, a buddy, I think, for another uh, puzzle of this level, too. So I still gotta be careful not to take hits in the toughest challenge in the game here. We got a barrel cannon here, and you press the jump button to get fire out of it wherever it's pointing to. In that case, I wanted to fire up to that switch. Pretty intuitive. Um, oh, don't wanna take it. Uh, yeah, I want to go in here, so I need to time this better. <laughs> there we go, 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 go! <laughs> there we go. Yeah, definitely try to avoid taking hits when you're playing on a toughest game save file, because... Ooh, you do not want to restart levels from the beginning because you don't have those midpoint barrels, yeah! <laughs> And also, if you take hits or fall in pits on, in bonus areas, uh, you'll automatically lose the level. So keep that in mind as well. So be careful even in bonus areas. Although you won't lose a Kong if you should take a hit in a bonus level. Uh, so it's not that big of a deal or anything like that. Especially since most bonus areas, you can just restart right from the start, like without even worrying about um, not being able to do it without restarting the level or anything like that. They usually just poop you out right next to wherever the, b the bonus barrel is, but keyword usually, because it's not always like that. Uh, go, 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 go. Uh, over here, you want to follow the bananas to the left like that, and look at this, we got coin. Yeah, coin is back. Well, another version of coin. So this time we got a little barrel puzzle going on here. All oh, poopers. I, there, this could actually be done two different ways. Um, either throwing a barrel up through that door and letting it bounce off the wall and hitting him from the back, or, and this is probably the easier way to do it, is to throw, <laughs> throw it up like this, and yeah, 
<laughs> just make sure that you jump before it hits him so that he focuses on you, basically. And behind that is a little bitty secret. Now, don't follow the bananas this time, because there's a two-op balloon there. Yeah, that's, it's kind of mean that they did that. <laughs> but it's there. Now, look at that. Since I beat the level with Dixie Kong, we get a pink flag. Yeah. All right. And as you can tell, this level is 100% now, based off of the way the flags are flying. And we can save our game, I suppose. It won't do any harm. Oh! Winkly Kong's playing video games. <laughs> I love this bird that you found. It's an energetic little thing, isn't it? Yeah, the banana birds you find uh, end up at Winkly Kong's place. She takes care of them. So you notice that there's a little uh, bird stand off to the right. And, I mean, left. Left, 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 not right. Anyway, I'm going to save and get out of here. Do keep a lookout for any banana birds. They're ever such nice company. All right, I will, because I got 100% this game. Now they're in the water again, we can explore Barnacles Island. This is a part of that trading sequence I mentioned earlier. Um, now that there's a banana bird in that cage. Hello there, how's it going, Kongs? Barnacles, my name. I set up home here today. I, I didn't read it fast enough, dang it. <laughs> so, he used to be a scuba diver. And, unfortunately, we don't have the thing we need. We need a shell for him, but that's that's going to be for later. Anyway, observant people will probably notice this over here. Smuggler's Cove. What's in Smuggler's Cove? Yep, it's another Simon Says Banana Bird game. So memorize whatever flashed. And there we go. We got another banana bird. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do one more level here, I think. Where? Let me... There we go. I was, I was kind of like stuck on the bridge. I'm gonna do one more level over here. It's known as Tidal Trouble. It sounds devastating, right? Well, it's not really. Uh, I gotta switch to uh, Kitty Kong because Dixie Kong is the only one that can transport you over to another ledge like watch this i'll switch over to kitty kong just to demonstrate this if you get him up there all he'll do is um uh, he'll slam the ground but he won't actually let you go up there that, again it's another special trait that characters have so look at this we've got a coin here right off the bat pretty easy puzzle <laughs> i wouldn't even consider it a puzzle Whee! Alright, so anyway, let's explore both above and below the water because there is most certainly going to be stuff to find. Maybe not here. <laughs> but there is definitely something um, above the water a little bit later. Oh, by the way, if you should ever lose a Kong when you are playing with the toughest code activated, um, you will, you'll automatically get both Kongs at the start of the level, no matter what. So you always start out with two Kongs. That may make it seem like it's going to be easy, but considering that you need to start, um, you need to keep them up to a certain point in the level, it's not always that easy. Anyway, we got a transformation barrel there, which turned us into On Guard the Swordfish. We can press the Y button to dash through enemies such as that Coco Clownfish there, yeah, that they're known as Coco. You can't jump out of the water though, unfortunately, but we do need it to go in there without taking a hit. So, let's now collect 30 stars. Oh, and we, this is a Lurchin, by the way. You can only hurt it when it's opened up like that and only from the side. So, be wary of when you time your sword jab. Just saying. Okay, <laughs> you don't actually have to kill it or anything like that. It's just there to be there. And here's a no swordfish sign. How handy. <laughs> oh, let me out of the water. Let, mm, there we go. <laughs> And that's all we missed is this right over here. Not really all that much, but yeah, I just thought I would show that as long as we are in the area. Now, let's continue. By the way, see these, like, docks? You can actually swim over them ever so slightly like that. You don't have to jump over the water to get past them. That's actually more mobile than it is to jump over them. Like, say, to get that coin, which I don't recommend trying when you're on the toughest. <laughs> Because there's no DK barrels to replenish your stock of Kongs until you restart the level. And you don't want to do that, preferably. <laughs> oh, but it's going to happen to me a lot, I assure you. Can I switch? I don't want to lose... Oh, shoot. I was going to say, I don't want to lose Kitty Kong because I need him up here. Uh, here's a booty bird. I'm just going to wipe him out for that letter N. Now, what I need to do is do that water skipping move here. So I hope you practiced it. Oh, shoot. I failed. Now I can't get bonus tier mm -hmm. 
because they don't respawn. I'll be back here later. <laughs> I was doing so well, too. I could take a hit and uh, uh, restart the level, but let's just let's just complete the level because I'd like to show something a little bit later, too. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, let's collect the G. And there we go. Get another one up. Yeah, I'm getting lives like crazy here because I'm not only carefully playing, but I'm also scouring the world for secrets. And I need to need a partner to get there. That that's fine. It's fine. I'll show that on my other run. Now look at that. See that the flag is not fluttering as high as it would be if I didn't. I mean, if I got all of the bonus coins. So yeah, that's a nice indicator to tell you, hey, you've missed something. And look at that. We've got Dixie Kong, just as I said. By the way, um, <laughs> when you take Donkey Kong coin from it, he uses a trash can lid as his shield. <laughs> it's kind of silly. Uh, by the way, um, coin there, you can also use to jump up to some platforms because he's sometimes placed in such a way that you can use him to get up to higher spots. So sometimes you might not want to kill him uh, for the Donkey Kong coin right away. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, for the most part, I'm going to just like rush through the level. In fact, I should have Dixie Kong out first and foremost because I don't want to lose... Uh, uh, Kitty Kong, of course. And yeah, I know I got that uh, bear coin because I used Dixie's um, uh, helicopter spin thingamabob there, but don't recommend it if you're playing as Kitty, let me tell you. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can do this properly this time. Bloop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get ready, steady. It's kind of hard to do because you can't exactly see the water when you're jumping into it because, you know, the perspective of this, it's kind of hard to tell between when you're going to hit the surface of the water and when you're not, when you're going to jump in midair or try to jump in midair and it doesn't work. That's pretty much what happened to me on that last run. Anyway, bonus barrel that I missed last time starts. Bash the baddies. So in these sorts of things, you got to kill... Oops. Oh, please put me back to the barrel. I don't want to restart this from the beginning. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, so the idea is to kill all the baddies in the area. Not all that difficult. Except somehow I managed to flub it up. <laughs> I don't know how I managed it, but I managed it. That's fine. It's not like that I lost a Kong and it, a little bit of time was lost, but eh, still not really that big of a deal overall. Alright, so... By the way, the, uh, the different versions of Coco will basically tell you what they do based off of their color. Like the red ones there move, while the green ones just sit around in place. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't really think they had the color code them or anything like that, but it's a thing. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to switch to Kitty Kong here. I didn't miss any secrets, but there is uh, a one-up that you can get there for kicks. What I mean is I, I didn't miss any bonus coins or Donkey Kong coins or anything like that. And uh, there we go. The level is now 100%ed. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.